In fact, spreads are the next step in the evolution of option strategies. Spreads define your risk and your reward very clearly and if they control your costs when you are using debit spreads and they control your risk when you use credit spreads. You deploy less capital, your adjustments are smaller and there are several other advantages that we've covered in course one. In this course, we are going to look at the basic of all the four spreads. This is the bull call spread. The bull call spread is an extension of the long call or the call buyer. When we bought a long call, our outlook was bullish. We had unlimited profits to the upside and limited losses to the downside. Now the only disadvantage with a long call was that your losses could accumulate quite a bit if the stock goes against your expectation. So the way we can protect against this is by using a spread. And this spread is called a bull call spread because we are buying a long call and then we are selling a short call which is above the strike price of the long call. So we saw in course one what generally the bull call risk profile looks like and in this course we are going to dissect the bull call spread and understand all its uh, characteristics. First of all, the names of these spreads may be confusing to newcomers. So I'm going to also show you a way to remember what these spreads mean because we have a bull call spread, a bear call spread, a bull put spread and a bear put spread. So in this course, we are dealing with a bull call spread. So the way to remember is you remember the word bull. Whenever you're talking about a bull, you're talking about prices going up. And you're going to use a spread strategy on the call side to capitalize on a bullish move. That's how you have to look at a bull call spread. And how would you do that? You would do that because your dominant option would be the long call. And so we have to have a long call that is the dominant option and then the risk limiting option or the cost reducing option is your short option, which would be the short call. So in that case, when we look at an option strategy, it may be helpful to first study the option strategies. And in this case, we are going to use IBM as an example. And I come to the option chain for IBM and we are going to look at the July series. So let's say we were in general bullish on IBM. So the one option could be you outright you buy an add the money call and now we are looking at 